Hey, good, boy. good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chief Trotwine from the Arcanum, village of Arcanum in Ohio, uh, chief of the Arcanum Fire Department for the past uh, 18 years. And uh, we have, are getting ready to take delivery of our new uh, heavy rescue unit. Uh, we were replacing a 1988 model truck with this one. Chassis is the same as what we have on our engine. Uh, we chose the American flag grill just because of being a proud American and, and that kind of goes with the spirit of volunteer firefighting. Everything seems to be the same on the front as that. We have a compartment up here that we're going to store. We have a winch that will be able to hook onto the front, the back, and both sides. So if we need to use that to uh, rescue someone, to help pull a car, help whatever it may be, it can be moved around the vehicle, plugged in, and used whichever, whichever side we need it on. So that's what's going to be in the front compartment. The cab, like I said, is basically the same. Uh, we're very happy with the way the cab lays out. Um, it's very comfortable to operate. Uh, these trucks turn on a dime. It's amazing, this truck being 34 feet long, but we still can turn it in a turnaround, in a, uh, in a, uh, in a dead end road, uh, turn into some of our driveways and lanes, farm lanes that are really close, really tight. Uh, it turns very well. The engine is the same, and so that's why we're so happy with using the same chassis. But this chassis will have uh, capable of holding six firefighters. Uh, we use this chassis for, uh, like I said, rescues. We also use this chassis for mutual aid fires where they need air. Uh, this truck will be able to do that as well as supply manpower to help fight the fire. Uh, this truck has, um, we've, we've put in two electric cord reels. They're 200 feet of electric cords and we can hook, plug in lights, fans, whatever it may be. So we have on the other side and on this side is an electric reel. Here's the box where you plug in stuff. Uh, we have uh, a, a refrigerator so we can keep cold water on hand for the guys for rehab. And uh, this truck also has a light tower that's mounted on top of the roof of the cab, which will give us six light heads, which will light up the night. Right. The next compartment is going to carry uh, backboards and it's going to carry a Stokes basket. Uh, we currently carry those now for assisting and rescuing people. Uh, so that's important. We're also going to have some roll out trays. Uh, this tray goes all the way across to the other side, as well as the one underneath of it. So these trays will carry uh, basically hand tools that can be uh, accessed from either side of the truck. Which, so it doesn't make a difference which side you need to go to, you can pull it out either side. Uh, we added this. This is a um, floor dry container but it's kind of neat, it's something we don't have now. We carry a, five gallon, a whole bunch of five gallon buckets right now. So this will be interesting to, it'll help give us more space. This compartment's empty, but it's going to hold an electrical powered air compressor, which will fill up our uh, air bottles where we breathe air for firefighting. So it's on back order now. So whenever it comes in, it will be in this compartment. And then this compartment is empty as well because it will have a fill station. So there'll be a two bottle fill station put in here so we can fill those bottles uh, that go on our air packs. So that's what's gonna be in this compartment. Up on top, right now we carry our, uh, some hazmat stuff up there. We carry rope rescue, those kind of things that we don't use every day. They're on top. There's lots of room up there. Easy access with this fold down ladder we're very happy with. We have it on the engine as well. This compartment will be our auto extrication compartment, basically. So we're gonna have two, again, pull out trays. Each one of those trays, especially this one, will have the uh, auto extrication tools. The gels of life, as you may say, will be in this compartment. Above that will be other tools. We have some different rescue jacks so forth that go up there. But this is our compartment to hold all the auto extrication equipment. This truck also carries ladders. So if it gets used as a, um, Routine type uh, uh, dispatch. We will carry our ladders up there. That's what that compartment up there is for, is to carry 24 foot ladder and a 14 foot roof ladder. And also for traffic, we have an arrow bar at the top, which will help us to mitigate um, moving traffic to an accident scene. Very important. Again, more compartment space. Uh, this is going to be a pull out tray for adding tools to it. Another tray, this tray pulls out and comes down so you can get stuff off of it. This is one of the tripod lights that will be mounted on the truck that will sit out in the yard if we need to get away from the truck for lighting. This is the other side of that compartment where the tool tray goes either way. This comes out this side as well as it goes out that side. And then this front compartment has a two tool trays as well. 
one top, one bottom, and these are adjustable, but uh, those will be different fans, different things that we mount in here. I just want to give thanks to a lot of people. First of all, to the taxpaying citizens of Arcanum. Uh, they're the ones making this possible. And uh, this is going to be a truck that's going to last 30 plus years, I'm sure. Uh, another big thanks is to our salesman, uh, Mark uh, Lloyd. He is from Arcanum. He grew up in Arcanum. Uh, works for All American Farm Fire Equipment down at Washington Courthouse. Uh, him and his buddy Charlie are two of the most awesome guys as far as giving us ideas, uh, working with us, making several trips back and forth to the firehouse to help us design. And uh, I'm just, we're just so pleased that we're able to offer, to offer them the chance to build us this truck and we just can't wait to get it home and get it used.